Hi there, Clive here, and I thought I'd do a quick review today of a brand new controller that I've bought. Okay, now when it comes to uh, Xbox controllers and just controllers in general, in fact, things in general, uh, traditionally I'm a real snob about things being, you know, the official version, so having the official Xbox controller and all those sort of things, and I was always against the idea of not buying the sort of branded uh, controllers and things like that. Uh, and then the other thing as well is uh, slightly snobbish about wires and um, having wired controllers. I have two Xboxes in the house and uh, one for my son and he was playing on my Xbox and I sent him to play on his Xbox which has a wired controller and he got really snobby about it going oh no it'll be rubbish. And then about half an hour later he came back with having played his best Fortnite game and gotten the most kills and realised that actually having a wired controller, uh, because of the distance he was from the Xbox that he plays on, uh, was much better for him. So uh, I was looking around for a different controller and I came across these and I've seen some great reviews uh, of these online. And it's from Power A. It is officially licensed by Microsoft for Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X and Windows 10. And it is wired. It comes with a detachable wire, so it's got a little USB connection. This is the box here. And there are two advanced gaming buttons, which we'll also look at. And the price is pretty good. I picked this up for £19, which uh, is pretty cheap. It was slightly reduced by about £5. You can get this in most good retailers, as they say, and I'll leave a clip below if you fancy buying it from Amazon and helping me uh, contribute to my uh, affiliate, Amazon affiliate there, then that would be fine. But I got this one actually from Argos, because uh, it was in the sale there, and it's a nice brushed silver. So let's do get on with that. That's enough jibber-jabber. Let's get on with the unboxing. Right, that was less an unboxing and more a uh, massacre. Anyway, I've finally sort of uh, unboxed it. They come in a range of colours. Uh, you know, pretty, I mean, for the money, I mean, don't expect plush uh, packaging. It's just, just sort of normal plastic covering. Here is the uh, cable, a nice long cable, which I think is about three metres, but we'll test that out. Nice, good length there. And then this is the Xbox controller. Obviously, uh, there's no battery unit in it, so it doesn't feel as heavy as a conventional Xbox controller. As you can see, in terms of layout and look, uh, and size, and positioning of buttons, very uh, similar. Just the weight is the main difference, and that is uh, true of the old uh, wired Xbox, official wired Xbox controllers anyway. So all the buttons as we say are, um, are, are the same. These, the joysticks there, the, seem a bit a bit springy, but you know, they, they seem all right. And the D-pad, D-pad feels a bit firmer actually. Um, than the main control, traditional controller, but the, and then you've got the, yeah, this one, yeah, this one's so slightly more responsive, there's sort of a, a shorter distance almost, it feels, between the pushing down here on LT and RT, there's some bit more springy there, this one seems more, you get more instant response, we'll see how that translates, but that seems a bit of a, yeah, that's, that's a bit more duller. This one's a bit more immediate, a bit more analog to it, it feels. I think the, the little D-pad, uh, so the joysticks here are slightly, slightly smaller than these ones in their size. I mean, negligible, you can hardly tell. But other than that, as you can say, comparing them side by side, they look very similar. Um, you'll just have to get used to the the weight. The other, of course, thing uh, which is notable difference is, I don't know if you can see here, is they've got these extra buttons here. Now these buttons are map map mappable. Effectively what that means is that you can swap one of these buttons here to 
one of these buttons and you do it within the controller. So you don't have to be in the game and go to settings. There's a, a button here that you press and then you say which, you effectively say which button you want to remap. What I'm unsure about and what we can find out is um, whether you can actually in game, if you, where you've got extra functions that you can add shortcuts, whether you can add additional shortcuts over and above the shortcuts that you might be able to add uh, to the main controller here. It comes with a, a sort of a USB connection cable here, which is nice and long, so you can be the other side of your living room if that's how you're gonna play. And I, I quite like, slightly question why I've actually bought this, because my controllers are fine, uh, but I just like the look of it and also fed up with my batteries running out mid crucial action. This is the lead, as you see. It's, I'd say that is, um, we'll do a quick old-fashioned tailor's measurement. One metre, two metre, three metre. Yeah, it's a three metre cable. Okay, so that's just about nine to 10 foot cable, nine foot eight, I think, that you'll find. Uh, a three metre cable, so pretty good if you're sitting in your armchair the other side of the, uh, the living room. Now in my case, my Xbox is over there and I've sort of wired it with a really long HDMI cable to my gaming screen here so I can uh, play on here and also can play in the living room if I want. So what I've done is I bought another extension cable specifically so I can demonstrate it here, a USB extension cable. But generally three, me three meters should be absolutely fine and it just plugs in now the other thing I've got to notice is it, okay, so it plugs, there's a sort of, it plugs in the mini USB section, plugs in there, and it goes in, I don't, it's a bit hard to explain, but it's, it's quite far in, so it's going to take any strain off the, the metal bit. So they've really thought that sort of design function out there. It, this will go in about halfway, so if you can see what I mean. So you're not putting any strain on the metal bit, yeah? It's supporting the plastic um, point at which you enter it there. So that's quite good. And it feels quite firm and solid. So there we go. But how does it play, I hear you ask? Well, that's the next task. Okay, I'm back here and I've got one of my favorite games, which is Sea of Thieves. It seems responsive. The, 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 the joysticks feel a bit, a bit stiff, but they're very responsive. Um, they just feel slightly stiffer than what I'm used to, but with any new controller, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Now the difference here, the thing that Circle so makes it enhanced is the advanced gaming buttons, uh, which I mentioned are on the back. Oh yeah, the 3.5 mil socket for your headphones is on the front, um, as per normal, it was quite stiff, in Sea of Thieves, I have assigned uh, two special keys. Actually, in this case, it's on the, the D-pad to, if I need a banana, grab a banana, can you see the banana there? Or if I need a plank, I press the D signal and I get a plank. Banana. Banana. Plank, okay? So what you can do, whether it could be a trigger or a reload or anything like that, is re-sign those on here without going into the game or anything, whatever game you're playing, by print, simply pressing this button on the back. It says, press the program button on the controller. So it's flashing there. Then press one of the following buttons that you want to assign. So I'm gonna press the banana button and then I want it on this one and it should stop. That's me pressing the D-pad. So you're, what you're really doing is actually, it turns out you're just doubling up. There, get my banana. Or press the button here, get the banana. And then you can do the same again, simple process. Press the button on the back and the light flashes. Assign the key, that one. And I want it for this button and then finish off, press the button again. So now, yes. Quick, I need a plank. There, boom. Or, quick, I need a plank. Boom. 
Now I might have to hold the control, they're a perfectly placed for these two fingers, these buttons here, but uh, I sometimes get excited and grip too hard, so I can see that that could be an issue. I might have to just sort of change my position, but I think it's quite useful, I don't have to look down, yeah, that's quite useful, I don't have to look down at the D-pad, I just instantly tap where my fingers are. So you imagine you could do that for a gun, it might be good for a gun, or something like that. So it works quite well. I mean, I have to have a play with it for a while and see whether I get used to it, whether I see it anything annoying. But generally speaking, I think um, it flows pretty well. I've gone for this, I've gone for this lovely brushed chrome look. It's just plastic. Um, and that, that might wear after a while, I don't know, because it's sort of, sort of, just a plastic thing. But it looks, I think it looks pretty cool, sort of a, a chrome. I wish there was a sort of a light, a light aluminium one or whatever that was quite light, or that might be too heavy. Um, the rumble packs, let's see, yeah, so um, it's got rumble packs in uh, both of the bottom pieces there. And I can feel it there um, rumbling away as well. So overall, uh, I think this is pretty impressive, especially for the price. It's lighter, um, and like I say, with any controller, it's gonna take time to get used to it, so I'll try it out for a while. But my first impressions are, for the money, if you like prefer a wired option, you're fed up of um, having to keep changing your batteries mid-combat, like I do sometimes, uh, and it's a nightmare, then this could be a, a good solution. Especially for the price. I was expecting, normally you pay something for the price, you know, you buy cheap, pay twice. So we'll see how long this lasts um, overall, but you know, it seems pretty good. So well worth um, checking out if you want a, a wired controller for your modern Xbox, your Xbox S or your Xbox uh, One X um, and not rely on the old uh, wireless uh, system because you can get interference that can mess up and you can be too far from your uh, Xbox or various reasons like that. So uh, give it a go, check it out. I'll put a link to the Amazon version of this. There's loads of different colors they do um, and see what you think. Thanks for watching.